Hey, welcome back. I'm going to do some MTA maximum tunnel loft. This is my favorite event. I'm really good at this event, and that's not just the only reason that I like it. It's just a lot of fun to do. You throw a disc in the wind, aiming into the wind, and you're trying to catch it with one hand. And so time starts when you release the disc, time stops on the first point of contact. So it's preventing you from tipping the disc and gaining extra time. So as soon as it hits your hand, time stops. Okay, so ideally you want to catch it clean. You really don't want to try and tip it because you increase the chance of dropping it. Ideally, you want to try and find out where the wind is coming from. That's what grass is best used for. So if the wind is coming from that direction, I call it 12 o'clock if you think of a clock. For MTA, I want to throw it at about 11 o'clock. So the goal is to throw it with a slight outside in or anhyzer at 11 o'clock and then it's going to flip flat hopefully as close to the apex as possible, right? I want it in the air as high as possible so it starts to tower and then it's going to start to float down back to the ground. Okay, if I don't get that flip, right, it's going to come back a lot more quickly. So ideally I have a little bit of edge on it, a little bit of turn, it flips flat, starts to tower and then slowly floats back down to me. So you want that shelf as high as possible. Okay, you're almost thinking of throwing it not just straight up, but you're thinking of throwing it over a hill. That'll help you with the throw. So MTA is not just straight up into the wind and back. You actually want to get some movement on it. You can also use an FB6. This is a fastback. It's very light. This one is about 95 grams. I set the um, Minnesota State MTA record, 14.53 seconds with this one. So I threw up in the wind, it towered very high, and took a long time to come back, which was how I got a really good time. This is one of the most famous fastbacks. This is an FB3, this is an Ole. And it was actually given to me by Tita. Tony Pelicane gave it to Tita, and Scott Zimmerman gave it to Tony. So this is a very legendary disc. This is more than 40 years old. This is from the 70s. These are original Whammo Frisbees. They have the writing underneath. Right? Play, catch, invent games, a flat flip, fly straight. So very famous wording underneath on these ones. These are very valuable. Back in the day, this was a dollar, right? Less than a dollar. Today, this is only a couple dollars, so. But very great discs. This is the disc that I actually won the World Championships with last year. And I won the Virginia State Frisbee Tournament Mr. Bubble MTA Trophy with last year as well. This is a 130 gram Innova DX Condor. It's a golf disc, beveled edge. So for self cut flight is very good. You want to go with a lighter model. And I threw a 12.85 second MTA last year in Virginia State to win the MTA title. So again, I'm going to try to throw it up in the air at about 11 o'clock if the wind is coming at 12 and have it try to ride the wind and gain maximum time. A couple cameras set up. We'll see how it goes for tracking. I'm going to try a flight tracker on some of the throws as well. The goal is to try and get a, the wind is not not bad. The goal is to get a, some 12 second throws.
sort of died down right when I started and then picked up again at the end. My best one was my last one. So we'll see how that was. Maybe like 11 seconds. I don't know, part of it is I haven't really been throwing. I've been really following the guidelines here in Alberta, like literally staying at home as much as possible. I've gone to the field a few times, but until recently it wasn't really that nice. So my cardio, my fitness, everything sort of needs some work. Um, timing with the throw, I had a couple nice throws, but my body is definitely a little sore. Part of the challenge as well as being back in cleats. I've not been in cleats for eight months, for a very long time. So my feet are already feeling it. I've been really working on my feet over the last eight or nine months to deal with some of the issues that the cleats are actually causing. So going back in the cleats is now going to bring some of those issues back if I'm not careful with it. So um, I do want to get back out and do some more MTAs. I love MTA. I'd, I was really hoping to set some world records this summer. I was really hoping to win some competitions and no competitions this summer. So I have to push myself. I have to set some goals and I would love to have, by the end of the summer, in practice, I would love to have a 15 second MTA. So I've thrown that before. Um, I know I can do it. I've thrown it a few times in competition to win worlds before. So I know I can do it. Um, so that'll be my goal for the summer is to get a 15 second. So that's gonna require a lot of practice. That's gonna require more work on speed, on cardio, on mobility, um, timing with the throwing, and just having good conditions. So. We'll see how it goes. But that'll be my goal. Um, yeah, it was a good good MTA session. Have some fun, get out and do it. If you don't have a disc, you can find them on my shop. I'm now going to be selling discs. So you can get the Condor, you can get the Fastback, which are the two that I would recommend. If you have an Ultimate Disc, you could use that, but <clears throat> I wouldn't really recommend that for MTA. It's a little too heavy, um, not fast enough, so it's hard to get that penetration. That's why the Condor, I think, is the best MTA disc out there. Um, not many available it is sort of a tough disc to buy but there's a, there's some out there so we can help we can help hook you up but hope everyone's staying safe doing well and at least getting out and doing something that they love to do keeping in mind all the restrictions no matter where you live everyone has different guidelines different uh, limits just make sure you respect those so when things finally open back up we can all get back to it, it just takes a couple people right on the disc golf course a couple of people being too close in the field um, for them to tighten those guidelines back up again. So stay safe.